Meanwhile, back at the yards, Kyle was still upset about what happened with the Pikesville engines. Huffer told Jeremy all about it, and he was worried as well as Huffer. Feel free to you feel free to you doodle these parts. Oh come on, gal. It's okay. You'll be fine. Okay, retake. Come on, Kyle. It'll be fine. I promise. That's exactly what everybody says, you know, said Kyle sadly. What's the use? I guess I'm just not that type of engine. I guess it should have been scrapped after all. Hearing this made the two engines startle. Scrapped? No, it can't be scrapped. But, but Jeremy. Kyle smiled happily. Thanks, Jeremy. I guess you really are kind of father figure to me. At least you're not having a deep rock star depression. A what now? A deep rock star depression. I've seen it before. It's crazy. Here, I'll show you a video right now. Trust me, partner. You'll understand. Insert, insert Huffer showing Kyle a video on his phone. Here it is, Kyle. Give me another gallon of milk. Don't you think you've had enough? I'll tell you I've had enough. Oh, oh. I think it's time to spank the monkey. Oh, Bobo, you used to be my childhood friend. Where are you now? Where are you now? You said you'd make everything easy for me, but you're not. You're not there. I'm so sorry, Bobby. Oh, oh, why did I drink the 2%? Well, Cal, what'd you think? Why are we even friends? Double darn it, I thought it would work. And soon enough, Jeremy was right. Why? Because. Meanwhile, up the station, all the engines were excited. The Pikesville engines would pass by for one more tour with a brand new coat of paint as soon as they were done with their original delivery. Sir so Topham Hat was getting annoyed with the noise. At least some of the other engines didn't make noise, like Edward and Boko. Sir Topham Hat was getting annoyed. Soon he soon he raised his hand up and yelled. Yeah, that was like, that was exactly what I was to say. All the engines stood silent. Sir Topham Hat then began to speak. But just before the other engines were about to cheer, there came a WAIT! The signalman came up. He was worried. By the way, the signalman's name is Archie. Not part of the video, just telling you. <sighs> Sir! We got to move!
It's from the telephone. So Topham had the one inside to answer. He returned, really upset. What's wrong? All the engines were worried. The Pikesville engines? Late? Okay, f feel free to you doodle these parts. Well, what are we gonna do? We can't just let, let them be stuck there until tomorrow. Someone better go and help them. Don't look at me. I just had a repaint, and I am not spoiling it this time. Well, somebody has to go and help them. The three engines on the turntable overheard. The pie cylinders need help, said Kyle. Kyle, this is your chance, said Huffer. You can go and help them. I don't know said Kyle. They were mean to me when I tried to help them. Maybe I'm not cut out to help them at all. Feel free to do these parts. Jeremy's right. Don't do it just because you want them to like you. Do it because they need it. Kyle's motivation went up. You're right. I'm not going to do it because I want... I'm not going to do it because I want them to like me again. I'm going to do it because... I'm going to do it... Just because. And was just because... It's the right thing to do, said Kyle. The white engine set off in a hurry. All the engines at front were shocked. What the? Kyle, what are you doing? Kyle, where are you going? You can do this, Cal! Remember! Grit, sweat, and love! To the two engines, Kyle smiled. Thanks. That's all I need. The points changed, and Kyle raced away to the rescue. 